Hello everybody and the Destiny 2 Forsaken expansion has officially been revealed and oh uh, man it's real hard to not get very excited and get my hopes up to an obscene level but I'm going to try and temper my expectations a little bit and I wanted to do a video giving my thoughts because a lot of people are wondering what do I think of it what am I most excited about what am I worried about so I thought it'd be nice to just have a video with all of my opinions in here. In the background, you will be seeing various gameplay and stuff from the Vidoc that we saw that was on the Bungie livestream, so you will be seeing that. Also, I do want to note that I'm not going to be heavily talking about the price of the expansion or the annual pass because Bungie has said that on Thursday, they're going to be talking about it in the TWAB in extreme detail. Also, if you have not watched the reveal stream, I will put a link to the 60 second breakdown version of this Vidoc and also a link to the entire reveal stream so you can go and watch it if you so desire. But if you've been wanting to know, what are you excited about? What do you think is cool? What are you worried about? This is the video and I'm going to talk about that right now. So first of all, I want to say that the new Fallen looks so good. They look twisted. They look evil. They're armor my goodness if we don't have some serious replicas of i want to look at a boss see his helmet and i want to wear his helmet i don't want that like this dude this dude's helmet i want to wear that helmet that is a helmet that i want very 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 excited about the new fallen guys i think they look absolutely amazing and i'm very happy <laughs> also i love fallen i'm very biased towards fallen because i think fallen are super duper cool and these are like more gritty more dirty more cooler looking fallen so it's super cool. <laughs> Next, they talked about weapon slots, and this was freaking huge. This is essentially a play how you want weapon slot system. We're not going back to the Destiny 1 system. We're not doing Destiny 2. We're actually going to be able to do both if you want to. Like they said in the Vidoc, you can run the old primary weapon, sniper rifle, heavy weapon setup. You can run two hand cannons and a rocket, or you can run three shotguns, three snipers, three SMGs. You can do whatever you want. You can essentially use whatever type of weapon you want in whatever slot you want. This is very exciting. It's very cool. I am a little concerned about how that balance is going to work in the Crucible. I think for PvE, it's going to be absolutely amazing. It's going to make it way more exciting. For PvP, I think the only thing that we need, really need to worry about is them getting the ammo economy right. It's gonna be difficult, I think, but if Bungie are able to manage the ammo economy in the Crucible, then I think this could work out fine. For example, I had a few people asking in the stream, so I can have three rockets? My guess is that yes, you can have three rockets in PvP, but most likely you will have one, maybe two max rockets? I would say one. I would assume that it would be one rocket. So you'd have one rocket in your primary, one rocket in your energy, and then zero rockets in your heavy until you're able to pick up heavy ammo. That would be my guess. So as soon as you use those two rockets, you have zero weapons to fight with. I think it's going to work something like that. Same with primary shotguns, for example. My guess is that you won't have 75 billion bullets like you do in an auto rifle. You'll most likely have five or something like that. And then as soon as you're done with those five shots in your shotgun you are done and you have to use your other weapon until you pick up more ammo i my guess is it's going to be something like that of course you have to manage these numbers of ammo stuffs very carefully because it can get crazy but in general if they are able to manage the ammo economy properly I love the idea of whatever you want anywhere. I, I've been saying for the longest time, imagine having a heavy hand cannon. What does that look like? What does it do? Does it one shot? Does it one shot headshot? Like, that's just very exciting to me. That thought is very exciting, and I like the variety that it can bring to the game. Next up, we had some talk about brand new supers. There are officially going to be nine new supers, not subclasses. Then we're not getting a new element, but we are getting new supers. So for essentially every single subclass of every single class, they're gonna have a new variant of their super. So we got to see some in the Vidoc. We got to see a Fist of Havoc Titan that looks like he's just diving like Superman. That'll be interesting. We also got to see a new Hammer Titan super where he was swinging this giant hammer around and then smacking it on the ground and pushing out a pulse of fire towards people. 
We also got to see a solar hunter that had a flurry of knives, essentially, that they threw at people. Instead of golden gun shots, you throw knives at people. We also got to see an arc hunter that was deflecting bullets that were shot at them. So, like, Genji's deflect, basically, if you play Overwatch. We also got to see a void... We also got to see a Void Warlock that blinks around the map all crazy and then does an AoE explosion everywhere. Looks awesome. The other one we got to see was an Arc Warlock that was basically doing Moira's ult from Overwatch, which is just sending out a beam. Or if you play League of Legends, BEAM! That's a Lux name. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that might have been really loud. But yeah, we got to see that. That's a thing too. And then we also got to see a brand new Night Stalker Void Hunter super. That is them being a ninja melee person, essentially like Arcblade. Now, all of these supers look really freaking cool. Having new supers to mess around with is always great. I think supers in Destiny always feel great to use. But what I am most excited about is what do the attunements look like? Do we get new attunement slots? Because if so, I'm really excited about that. Like if I select to use my void blade <laughs> night stalker what does that class look like you know in classes and hunters we have dodging makes you go invisible we have keen scout we have so many things that can be put into a class that i'm really 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 excited not just to try out all of the new supers but i'm very excited to see what those attunements are because there are some really cool attunements and I think that's where things get really exciting and that's when classes are basically chosen if they're good or not is is their neutral game amazing so that's what I'm very excited to find out hopefully we find out more about those at E3 now the next thing that was shown off I believe was the bow now the bow oh my gosh I think I've said for such a long time I'm sorry I cannot not get excited about having an actual bow in destiny especially when my night stalker bow doesn't do anything. <laughs> so this is the one time that you're going to have to just let me explode. I'm exploding. So the bow, I have always said for a long time, imagine if we just had a bow that we could use in Destiny. I love bows. Every time I get to play any game that has a bow in it, I always use the bow. Now, what's really exciting about the bow in Destiny is that they've said that there's going to be long range bows. There's going to be medium range. There's going to be short range. So that's very exciting for me. There's going to be lots of different ways to express yourself with a bow. And I cannot wait to get my hands on the bow and see what that actually feels like, how fast does it kill and all that good stuff. Now the next thing that was revealed is the thing that we've been wanting to talk to you guys about for a really long time, which is the mode that we played at Bungie that all of the creators came away and was like, this is so good. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time talking about Gambit, if that's okay with you guys, just explaining what it is in case anyone was confused. So Gambit is a PvPvE mode. You're going to be fighting AI and you're also going to be fighting enemy players. The way that it works is every time you kill an AI, you get these moats to drop. You collect moats and then you go to the structure somewhere in the middle of the map and you bank those moats. Every time you bank moats, you're able to send a slightly stronger AI over to the enemy arena. When you do that, they have to kill that enemy AI in order to be able to put more moats in their bank again. Once you bank the required amount of moats, you will summon a boss and killing that boss is how you win a game of Gambit. So you have two teams in completely separate arenas. They're killing AI, they're getting moats, they're banking it, trying to get to that number where they spawn the boss, and you're both trying to burn the boss down to be the team that wins. Now, what makes this extremely exciting and super fun is that you are able to invade the enemy's arena. Now, the reason why this is super cool, and you may be thinking, oh, that's cool, you know, PvPvE, that's nice. The thing that makes me really excited about Gambit is there is a big skill gap and there's a big skill ceiling of how you decide to play Gambit. So picture this, the enemy team are collecting moats. You go in there and you kill them taking all of their modes, they lose all of those modes, and then you go back to your arena and you bank all of those modes. You just set that team back so far and you set your team ahead so far. Imagine you send one of these stronger AI dudes over to the enemy arena and then you decide to invade while they're trying to take down that AI as fast as possible. You invade, you kill all of them. They're not able to kill their AI to bring their bank back up. They have to respawn. You just set them back so freaking far. 
that is so exciting to me. There's so many ways that you can play out Gambit that it makes me extremely excited. Also, another thing that makes me really excited for Gambit is there are a lot of players who don't really enjoy PvP. And this will be a way for those PvE players to kind of get a taste of PvP, but not jump all the way in there. And also, if you just don't really like PvP that much, you can be the designated PvE player on your team. You know, you can have a loadout that is very good for killing AI as fast as possible, getting moats as fast as possible, banking moats as fast as possible. And then you can have someone on your team that is pretty much dedicated to invading and being the PvP guy. Loadouts are going to be totally different between those two sets of players. And it's just... It's really exciting for me. It's really exciting. I cannot wait for more people to be able to play it, for you guys to be able to get full gameplay of this thing. I cannot wait to have full gameplay of this thing and fully explain all of this stuff in detail. I know I spent a lot of time on this. I really apologize. But I just want you guys to understand how exciting Gambit is. Gambit is a very exciting mode. Also, I realized that all the Vidoc footage in the background makes no sense with me talking about Gambit, but whatever, I needed to talk about it. I needed to talk about it, okay? And now I talked about it. Moving on. <laughs> Next up, we get to learn a little bit about the new raid and also the city that completing the raid is going to change. So we were told that the new raid is going to have more bosses than any other raid ever in Destiny. So I believe the most amount of bosses was four in King's Fall. So this raid has to have at least five bosses. That's all that we learned but that was very exciting. We went from Leviathan that was very much encounter heavy to this new raid that's going to be very heavy on bosses. Now we also get to learn about the Dreaming City which is an Awoken City and this city they said is a mixture between Vault of Glass and the Dreadnought. You put both together and that's kind of what this is which is very exciting and the thing that I found very very cool about the Dreaming City is that they said that when people are completing the raid it actually changes the way the city is. New things become unlocked. New secrets become unveiled. Unveiled? 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 <laughs> yes. That's very exciting. I don't know how well that's going to be. It could be something that's like, oh, that's kind of cool. Or it could be something that like, holy crap, that's amazing. So I don't know if it's going to be one or the other, but I like the fact that they are doing that. I think that that's really cool. I mean, imagine something like this, right? Imagine that Worlds First clears the raid for the very first time. And when they do, that team unlocks a quest line for a brand new exotic. Like, that's so cool. It gets the community involved. It gets the community excited. Everyone's cheering on Worlds First because they're like, oh my god, we're going to get this really cool thing. Come on, man. That's exciting. I love that. It's community building, changing the world. It feels more like an MMO. And I think the Bungie should always push Destiny to feel more like an RPG MMO type thing than just an action shooter. We also got to learn about collections and lore tabs and triumphs and all these things. There's actually going to be a way to get titles for completing stuff in the game that you can have next to your name so if you're like I don't know freaking number one in the world for trials elo maybe you get my elo peen is gigantic as a title or something I don't know but those we're gonna have the opportunity to do that that's really exciting that was something that I loved about guild wars that I played forever is that you could choose a title to display next to your name which showed how big your e peen was that's what it did everyone wants to show off their e peen that's what we're here for. <laughs> Collections are going to be a way for us to see all of the armor and weapons that we have collected. So that's very exciting. Also, I absolutely cannot say enough how much I love the fact that lore is not only going to be in the game, but you're going to be able to have it in a book that you can go through and read the lore. So you're going to be picking up lore from over here and over there, and it's not going to make any sense in the timeline. It all gets put into your book, and then you can read it through the correct timeline after you get it. That is very, that is awesome. I want to learn more about the Destiny world. And if you're not watching Bife or you're not watching any of the other lore masses of the Destiny community, it can be kind of difficult to keep up with lore. So I'm very excited that this is going to enable more people to really delve into the lore. That's going to be, that's going to be really exciting. I'm looking forward to that. I think for the other stuff that was revealed, I kind of want to wait until we hear more information about it. We don't know a crazy amount about everything else. I think these were the main things that I really took and was excited about hearing about. So now let's go to my overall opinion. Boy, <laughs> I, uh, wow, it's, like I said at the beginning, it's very, very difficult for me to not get extremely excited and completely set my expectations at an insane high. I don't want to do that. 
But this DLC, from this reveal stream at least, was like, hey, we heard everything you guys don't like. Here's a fix to all of that. You want weapon slot changes? Here you go. Random rolls? Here you go. You want bosses in a raid instead of encounters? Here you go. You want more loot to grind. You want collections. You want lore in the game. You want a new mode that's PvPvE. Here you freaking go. It feels like we've been given pretty much everything. Now, saying that, the reason why I'm tempering my expectations is because there can be the best idea ever in a video game. But it doesn't necessarily mean that it is good and it doesn't mean that it's enjoyable or if it's going to be enjoyable for an extended period of time. Bungie is showing me all the stuff I want to see and telling me all the things I want to hear, but it doesn't mean that it's going to be amazing. But I will say that everything in this reveal, I am very, very excited for and I'm very happy that it's going to be in the game. Like I said, doesn't equate to it being amazing or being the thing that fixes Destiny forever. I definitely do believe that Destiny needs to do this for probably years if they want the community to trust them again. I think they need to do it for years. But if they do this and they knock it out of the park, that is going to put Destiny on its way to being in the place that it should have been. Bungie has the capabilities of making this game amazing. This game has an amazing foundation. I want it to be amazing and I want everyone to freaking love it. <laughs> now, one thing that I will say I am concerned about is the weapon slots. As excited I am for the weapon slots, and how as awesome I think it's gonna be for weapon variety. I'm pretty scared about Crucible Balance. It just, like I said in that section, it comes down to managing the ammo economy. If we can do that, then it's gonna be great, but I don't think it's gonna be an easy feat to manage the ammo economy. So overall, very excited, tempering my expectations, a little bit scared about weapon slots, a little bit scared about random rolls because we had an issue with that as well, but I'm excited that we're getting the destiny that it appears the community has asked for since the beginning. Let's just hope that those things are done really well and it's amazing. So that's pretty much going to be it, guys. I will have a video on the pricing of the season pass and the Forsaken expansion on Thursday when we actually know what that is and we have more details on that. I do want to talk that about that in its own video. Of course, we're going to have Gambit gameplay coming up because of E3 and all that stuff. So stay tuned. I'm excited, guys. I'm not going to lie. I can't I can't hide my excitement for those the hunter knives and compound bows. That's very exciting. <laughs> and Gambit. Ah. Oh. Gambit. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling because it's bad. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments section what are the top three things that you are excited about from the reveal trailer. I want three. I want them in the comment section. Thank you guys so much, and I will speak to you some people later. Bye.